Right, today I'm going to show you how to make a tipper hinge. There's not a lot to it and I'm sure you've probably figured it out yourself but I'm going to show you anyway. So, this is my tipper hinge here that I've, 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 I've made. Uh, I'll run you through what I've done and uh, how I've gone about it. So, we're building this on a, this is an Isuzu 4x4 pickup that we're turning into a tipper. So it's not going to carry a massive load, it's, gonna, it's only going to carry a ton. Uh, but we'll make decent hinges. Um, probably going to overload it, as you do. Right, so here's our tipper hinge. As you can see, what I just started, but the idea of that is that'll hinge for our body to tip on. So what we've done here is we're building the body out of 60 by 40 box. So these top and bottom rails are made out of the same. This here is two bits of 10 mil flat bar. And that is a pin that I've made out of some 25 mil scrap bright bar with a washer welded on the end. 26 mil hole drilled in the two plates, either side. And then if I push that out the way, you can see that bottom run, just to give a bit of strength and stability, because this is on my thin box. If I'd have just drilled the hole right through, it could have twisted on that box and damaged it. So what I've done is I took a, a piece of uh, tube that's obviously slightly bigger than our pin. Uh, I'll show you on this next picture. So here we're using a mag drill and a 33 mil rotor brooch bit to drill a hole right through the box which will enable us to insert our piece of tube right through and then we can now weld it on both sides and that will house the pin nice and securely and then that pin slides it's quite free that pin i don't want it to get jammed in there or like that i've left a little bit of space so that i can grease it up afterwards you could if you wanted to drill this and tap it and put a little grease nipple in there I probably won't go that far to be honest. Um, ignore that hole, it's just because it was a scrap pin. What we will do is we'll drill a hole on this end to put a retaining clip in. So if we come to this side, you can see it's exactly the same on this side. No fancy, but gives you the idea. And believe me, it works. I'm sure you've figured it out if you're building a tipper, but um, it's always nice to see how other people do it. And that's how I make a tipping hinge. I'll make a couple of more videos while I'm doing this build. Maybe show you how to uh, how I install the ram and the tipping gear, uh, wire it all up, and get it all working and actually tipping. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos.